Right guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna add a custom CSS code to ClickFunnels, allowing your buttons to be gradient, 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 gradient. And what it's gonna do is gonna elevate your designs from here to here to here. Just make them look fancier. So I'm gonna share my screen right here. And you can see that we have these green buttons. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here and you can see that for an example, let's say we wanna have this blue but sort of like the logo here going from one blue to the other and so i'm gonna copy this blue code right here but first i'm gonna go into custom css and i'm gonna add a open bracket and a close bracket and then i'm gonna type in dot l button color one boom and then right here is where i'm gonna copy paste a code that you're gonna see here. And what this code does is it tells ClickFunnels like this CSS code should override the CSS for the, the button colors. So now you'll see if you just go here and you grab this hex code. By the way, if you're not subscribed, like this video, subscribe to the channel with the bell, uh, with the <laughs> Nice. With the bell, <clears throat> god damn. See now that's some bullshit. With the notification bell, and we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna go in here, CSS. And what you'll see is, you see this right here, this is the color and you're gonna change it. So basically what we're saying is, if you have an old browser or the, the person viewing your funnel, if they have an old browser and they don't recognize this CSS, it's gonna override and show them this color instead. Uh, but for all of these other, um, whether they're using Safari, Google Chrome, whatever it is, is going to show this gradient color. So then I'm going to pick the lighter version of the blue. And that is this one. And so we're just going to go in here, add that in there. Boom. We have the gradient set to 70%, meaning that's the percentage of like, when is it going to switch over from one to the other? Uh, again, I'm not a coder, so if someone is a coder, they're watching the, this, they're gonna be like, this dude knows nothing what he's talking about. So now you can see it's still not working. So let me open the CSS again. You can see I have three T's in there. Boom. So now it's working. By the way, I like to add this little effect here um, that elevates it when you hover over. It just makes it you know, feel more alive. But that's it. So now if I save it, and I preview, we have these gradient buttons instead of that bland one color button. And so, boom, you can see here as well. So it's working. I'll leave the custom CSS code that you can just uh, copy paste in here. And then you just add your own colors to it. And it's literally that simple. So if you like this tutorial, if you wanna see more short tutorials straight to the point that takes your funnel designs from here, to here, make sure you smash the like button because the more likes we get, the more videos I want to create for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.